Shalom, everybody. This is Sister Kana, and um, this is another edition of the COI Times, but it's just about the calendar, and because um, I finished the calendar, and I want to first say all glory and praise to Ahaya Asha Ahaya Bahashin Yeshaya. He is awesome. Um, I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm going to put the calendar on after I. Um, finish, but I know that I never really took the time to show people the calendar, and I know that um, us learning a new system sometimes can be a little frustrating. So I wanted to take the time to just at least point out um, certain things so that people can at least read the calendar. Now this time, um, if you go to coi times um, dot blogspot, and I'll put the link in the description box, you can um, print. You can print the calendar, you can enlarge it this time, that you can see the numbers. I know I uploaded it wrong the last time and I didn't, I didn't know how to fix it. But this time I, I, I was able to in, um, upload it and that way you can enlarge it. You can, it also has a slideshow and stuff like that so you'll be able to see it. Praise the Most High. Okay, I wanted to point out that first I think everyone should make a copy of, um, should print out the new moon calendar and if you can see this new moon calendar 2011 to 2020 I think everyone should have a couple of copies of this on hand and the reason why so that way you can always figure out you know the days that we're in according to the um, Hebrew calendar and what I found something very interesting was last week I went on a site now I printed this out last year this was my copy from last year and I just kept it in my suitcase. I kept it with me. Now, when I went on the site last week, I noticed that one of the dates, now I'm going to show you, but th my camera is horrible, so I please forgive me. It's not a good cam camera at all. But see here, you can see November 25th over there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you should be able to see it. That date, when I went on the Internet last week, I looked up the new moon calendar and the date was changed to November 24th and it was on a, a regular online site and it was the um, first link and I just went on it and all the dates were um, correct except that one date and I, I, was, I was like oh my gosh so I went and looked on this calendar and I found that this was so then I went on other sites to double check and that's going to be what we're going to have to do. Check several sites for the new moon calendar. Don't just take one because they changed that date. And that particular date being wrong would throw us off for the December Feast of Dedication. And so we have to think and, and notice and pay attention to all these little um, things that these people are doing to try to keep us from connecting back to our Father. We must understand that we are at war and they're going to stop at nothing. So I just wanted to point that out so that you can look at it. They didn't go into Christ's birth and mess with those records. And um, as we learned from the elders, um, the King Herod's um, death and change all the times so that this time would come, we wouldn't know what year we was in when it came to the new millennium. You know, they didn't go through all this trouble for nothing, and they're still doing these type of things, messing with the, um, the days now that they know we understand about how to go on the calendar. Now some of the days are wrong on the, the calendar on the Internet. And it's going to come to a point pretty soon that we won't even be able to go on the Internet to get this information. And that's why you must print out this information so you can have it, several copies so you can have it. Because if you're in the wilderness and you need to figure out what day it is, you need to be able to go into um, this information yourself and figure out the days according to the Most High. Because don't you know it's so important that we connect back to our Father. That is the whole you know point is that they have, we have been in this um, condition because we didn't know the laws and they was putting pork in our food and putting you know all these things that we are not supposed to have. Um, you know, uh, uh, we're not supposed to be doing these things, and they understand that more than even we understand it. So I just wanted to say that, um, that I just think it's amazing and praise the Most High because He's not allowing them to get away with these certain things. They have always, um, like, infiltrated us and put people among us when any kind of groups were, were, um, were around or set up. They would always 
use that tactic of putting people, placing people among us so that they can keep an eye on what was going on. That's nothing new. But the thing is that the Most High is not allowing it now. He's not allowing them to, um, to infiltrate us like that and keep information from us because our captivity is done. So praise the Most High, um, Israel. I just need to really say that because people need to understand that um, most, it's the Most High's will. This is Him doing these things. You know, I'm not a person of, I'm not a, a numbers person or a big math person. That's not my forte. And it's very hard for me to, you know, I have to really shut down and concentrate to come up with this calendar. And But I know it's the Most High's pouring His Spirit out because I would never think to do any of this and even really be so concerned about the calendar. You know, since I've come out of America, it's been on my spirit. And I know it's the most high. And I thank the most high for that. You know, and even me having to go into study. I'm not a huge study person. I'm a musician. You know, this is, my music is my thing. So I've never was like really into um, studying. And literally, I would just, I opened up the book. When it went to the book at Enoch, I just opened up the book and I was at the page. And there's no exaggeration. I didn't have to, the Most High wanted me to get that information. It wasn't even about me studying and trying to figure it out because I didn't even know what to look for. You understand? So I just want to just, I need to give that information so that people can really understand what the Most High is doing. And that you have to understand what we are really dealing with and what we are about to go through. People need to really um, consider and, um, you know, just seek the Most High. Ask Him to open your eyes and show you for those who j just may not really quite get it yet. But bless the name of the Lord. So I want to show you the calendar real quick. I'll make this quick. I know. Word. <laughs> Wordy. Okay. So here's the calendar. I hope you can see this. And I'll try to, um... Okay, so now, this is the month of March. And I hope you can see it, because I can't tell if you can see this. Okay, so it has the scripture that's established for the feast day. And um, it has the how many days in that month, which also changes every year. So the day of the month for March 2012 will be different in March 2013. So just know that it's according to the moon cycle that the days, you know, it's either 30 days or 29 days. So this year, March has 30 days. Now when we scroll down, and I hope you can see this, okay, the, sh um, the Sabbaths, gosh, the Sabbaths are in red, highlighted. Now the, um, the feasts are usually in blue, and they're highlighted. So now, this is the first day is the, the Gregorian date calendar. That's the 5th of March, right? Which will be the 14th day. And that's our Feast of Perim. And we know at sundown, and I put the word sundown so that you know that because the evening starts the new day. So we know at sundown on the, on the 4th of March will start the Feast of Perim, right? And so that's highlighted in blue. So you got the Gregorian date, and then you got the Hebrew date. Okay, now let me scroll down and highlighted in yellow will be the new moon. Only when it's a feast will it be highlighted. So April, I mean, I'm sorry, March 22nd is the first day. That, that is the first day of April. And um, it's a new moon and it starts at the sundown on the 21st because we know the, the uh, new, the sundown evening starts the day. The only time that is different, now let me go to the next one just so you can see it, is in for Passover. Passover, and because biblically it tells you that on the 14th day at evening, and this is how I got a little confused too because I didn't read that um, right away. It says the 14th day at even is the Lord's Passover, so it's actually the 15th day. So when you look on this calendar, April the 5th is the first day, and the 15th is the um, Hebrew day. But at sundown, on the 14th day, starts the Passover. So just so that people can really be clear, and I hope you can see this, 
So it gives you the scripture. It'll give you the um, the day in the month. It'll give you the year that we're working on the Gregorian calendar. And then highlighted in blue will give you our feast. Um, now also it gives the year 2004 because if in 2008 is when the Most High poured out His Spirit and we had the awakening. That was our new millennium. That was our year 2000. So then this year, 2012 and April will be um, the 2004 for us, actually. So I just wanted to um, give this information, and I hope you can see it. I can't tell whether you can actually see this. Um, okay? But um, bless the name of Ahaya Asha Ahaya. I pray that this, um, that this calendar is correct. If you find any um, discrepancies, please let me know because... It's, it's not easy, you know, to do, and I could be wrong. But if you go into the scripture and you go and you look for this information, you should be able to come up with it. I suggest you fast and you pray about it and that um, the Most High open up the, the spirit, you know. Um, I'm just excited and I'm so thankful and I pray that um, brothers and sisters receive this um, so that we can um, come back to the Father. So I think I explained everything. Um, bless the name of Ahaya, that's all I can say, and um, Shalom, Israel. Oh, and after this, the calendar will be right behind this, so you'll see it. And um, go to the description box for the link, and you can print it, enlarge it, and you can see it very clear. Praise Ahaya.